To record your audio and blend in a musical track to your poetry, here's how you use GarageBand. Once you launch GarageBand, you may either start this way or this way. If you're in this file system, make sure you're on my iPad and select Create Song. If you're in the track section, you want to scroll over and you can just scroll over to where it says Drummer. I'm going to select Drummer, the acoustic option. I'm going to, you can choose the different types of drummer. So you can listen to the drummer by clicking play. And you can adjust how it drums. So think about the style of your poem and you can adjust it. Now, you can also adjust the drummer itself. I'm going to go down here to Mason. Which is a little more adjustable and chill. Now, you can adjust based on the presets. I would keep it down on the simple side. Also, by selecting the gear icon and adjusting the tempo between 85 to 90 is good enough. If you like it even a little slower, you can adjust it down. So now I click the play and I'm going to read to this rhythm. Once I like the way it's set up, I can click the back arrow and then go to track view. Now I have a drummer. Now I need to lay down my audio recording. By selecting the plus icon, I can go over to audio recording by sliding to the right until I see audio recorder and select voice. I'm going to choose the voice and change it to narrator. And then I can record my poem. When you're ready to record, make sure that you select the plus next to the eight and change the section, section A, to automatic. Select back, and then you're ready to record. When you're ready to record, select the red record button, and you want to repeat it as the drummer plays, staying with the rhythm. Ella Tofoni by Lord Elizabeth Richard. Once there was an elephant who tried to use a telephone. No, no, I mean an elephone who tried to use a telephone. Dear me, I am not certain quite that even now I got it right. However it was, he got his trunk entangled in the telephone. The more he tried to get it free, the louder buzzed the telephone. I fear I'd better drop the song or a hell of hop a telephone. Once you're done recording, you will need to go back to track view. Now, if you recognized, the drummer stopped halfway through. So to fix that, I'm going to click on the drummer track, select it one more time, and I get the loop option. This will continue to play as I record. So we can listen to how it's going. Bella Tofoni by Lord Elizabeth Richard. Once there was an elephant who tried to use a telephone. No, no, I mean an elephone who tried to use a telephone. So there's the recording. And notice it continues on the drum market. Now, I have some dead space here, so I'm going to go ahead and select the audio recording section and drag the yellow bar to clean it up. You could do the same thing here as well in the rhythm section. Now, I have a rhythm section and audio recording. Let's go and hit the restart and give it maybe a little melody. I'm gonna go click on the plus again and go to the string section. Now I'm gonna select smart strings and maybe I want just the strings themselves. I can choose it from cinematic and modern. I'm gonna choose modern and I can play here. If I touch it lightly, I get Picato. If I stroke it shortly, I 
or I can do a long stroke. So play with it for a while. You can also play with the autoplay over on the right side. the type of sounds. Once you're happy with what you have, go ahead and click the record button. Bella to, to Pony by Lord Elizabeth Richard. Once there was an elephant who tried to use an elephant. No, no, I mean an elephant who tried to use the telephone. Dear me, I am not certain quite that even now I got it right. However it was, he got his trunk entangled in the telephone. The more he tried to get it free, the louder buzzed the telephone. And so you notice that I continue to play out the entire thing. Adjusting the notes as necessary. Clicking back on the track view, now I have my recording. Now, you notice that the, the song is a little loud to, to pony on the modern by Ellie Lord Richard. Elizabeth Richard. By clicking on the edit option, I can adjust each of the track volumes and other sounds. So I'm going to turn my narrative voice all the way up and turn my melody down towards not as loud and maybe a little bit on the rhythm. Drag the playhead back. Bella to, to Pony by Lord Elizabeth Richard. Once there was an elephant who tried to use a telephone. No, no, I mean an elephone who tried to use a telephone. Dear me, I am not certain quite that even now I got it right. However it was, he got his. So there you go. You got a little bit of drum, you got a little melody, and the recording on top. Once I'm happy with what I have, again, you can add all kinds of other things to it. There's a toy box in here, you can add sounds, but for right now, I think we're good. I'm going to go ahead and clicking the paper icon to save it. Now we've got my song. I'm going to touch and hold that. Click rename, and I'm going to call it Elephant, Elephantoni. Click done, and now I've got that song. By clicking and holding on again, I can click share, select song, change the artist name, the composer, and the album. You can go ahead and click share, and then save to files. This will export the song into an mp3, or whatever format you decide on, and that can then be turned in or added to other locations. By making sure you're in the GarageBand files, clicking save will save the file, Going back into the file section, you can now see it's there. I can click on it and click play. Ella to, to Pony by Lord Elizabeth Richard. Once there was an elephant who tried. And there you go. That's how you create a audio track to your recording of your poem.